since like the beginning of my Patreon. Thrills and chills and gothicness. That makes it sound like I'm excited that it's over, which is a little bit true. It's not coercion. They asked and I said yes. <laughs> Happy December, happy end of year. Oh my gosh, it really is the end of the year. I don't really feel like it is. I don't know why. Cause like I'm decorated, I'm wearing a gingerbread sweater, I'm listening to holiday music, drinking holiday coffee, opening my tea advent calendar, all the things. I don't know, I just like, when I keep thinking about what more I still wanna read this year, I'm like, oh yeah, you know, I'll try to get through that this month and then maybe next month, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm like, wait, no. This is the last month. There is no next month. And I'm like, oh yeah, okay, I should probably get on that. But I just like, I don't believe it. <laughs> it's not like, I can't believe it. It's just like, I just don't. I just simply do not believe it. I mean, New Year's is dumb anyway. It's completely arbitrary. That's enough ranting about end of year nonsense. Um, yeah, this is my final TBR of the year. These are the books that are obligations. I have lots of other books that I plan to read, in particular vlog projects that I want to finish before the end of the year. But um, yeah, these are the books that I am promising swearing that I will read. The first one I don't have a physical copy of. I just stuck this placeholder in and that is Debt of Bones. That is going to conclude our Sword of Truth read along. It is a prequel that takes place before Wizards First Rule and the live show for that will be on my channel. I don't know why I'm acting surprised about that because I didn't realize. I also forgot that I agreed to read Debt of Bones. <laughs> That's why I don't have a physical copy of it. It's a prequel. That's, I have not read it ever. So yeah. And then that's it. No more Sword of Truth for, for this well probably ever for me, except I love Stone of Tears. I'll probably reread Stone of Tears again in my lifetime. Anyway, uh, on to the books I have physical copies of. And the first book is the book that my patrons have chosen me for me to read and vlog for them. And this is kind of a momentous occasion because this book has been on the poll for like for the books that I'm going, uh, that are under consideration for me to vlog since like the beginning of my Patreon. Like, I don't know if it's actually since the beginning of my Patreon, but like, pretty close to the beginning of my Patreon. And the patron who proposed this book has been lobbying for it for forever. And I think it was kind of for his sake, uh, in honor of him that people voted for it. So hopefully I will not be breaking any hearts. For all that, that build up drum roll, please. The Sheep Farmer's Daughter, or just Sheep Farmer's Daughter, not the, there's no the. Sheep Farmer's Daughter by Elizabeth Moon. This is book one in The Deed of Paxanarian. Originally, what was on the poll was Deed of Paxanarian. And after many rounds of it being on the poll, I learned that that is a bind up of three books. And I was like, oh, hell no. We will put the first book on the poll. I am not committing to reading three novels in a month. That's cheating, absolutely not. So Sheep Farmer's Daughter, book one of The Deed of Paxanarian. And it only comes in like million dollar hardcover or mass market paperback. <laughs> so I got the mass market paperback pretty like old school looking, which I kind of love. Um, and yeah, I I mean, for your sake, speaking to my patron, I hope I don't hate this. <laughs> for my sake too, I, I hope I like it. I always hope to like it, but it's not super long. So there is that at least. Next up is the conclusion of the Rainwild Chronicles, which I'm reading with Mara and actually reading it with Mara and Evie from She Was Only Evie, because Evie just finished City of Dragons. So she's gonna join us for Blood of Dragons by Robin Hobb. I'm excited to see the end of the Rainwell Chronicle. That makes it sound like I'm excited that it's over, which is a little bit true because it has been my least favorite series. If I, like people really deride it and I think undeservedly, but it is probably my least favorite series in Throne of the Elderlings so far. But it's like by a very small margin. People are always like, Realm of the Elderlings is great, except for Rainwell Chronicles. Whereas me, I'm like, Realm of the Elderlings is great. And if you want me to rank the series, this will be the lowest, but you know, it's, it doesn't suck. So yeah, I really enjoyed City of Dragons and uh, there's a lot of interesting things that have been set up throughout this series and I'm excited to see where we end up in Blood of Dragons. Uh, next up is a book that I have been kind of, <laughs> shouldn't say coerced because they asked and I said yes, uh, that's not coercion. It just feels like coercion. Um, to Buddy Reed, one of my patrons, The Toll by Neil Shusterman. I read Scythe like two or three years ago. Then last year I read Thunderhead with Mara well, in, in intending to read it with Mara and then I finished it and Mara, I don't know if she even started it last year, but like that kind of fell through, but I read it. And I was like, okay, well, you let me know when you get through it and then we can read the toll together. And she only just read Thunderhead this year and uh, she DNF'd it. So she's obviously not gonna be going on to the, to the toll. And for, it's been a year, over a year now since I read Thunderhead. 
And I kept putting it off because I was like, well, I'm waiting for Mara and slash it's no longer a priority to me because it's been so long. So hopefully I remember enough of Thunderhead. If there's a wiki, maybe I'll look it up. But um, I really, really loved Thunderhead. I kind of binged it. So I am excited to read the toll assuming I remember what happened in Thunderhead. I just remember really liking Thunderhead. Hopefully it'll like come back to me as I read it. But anyway, it would be nice to like wrap up this series. There's a few books that I want to read that are not on my TBR because I haven't agreed to read them with anyone, but they're like, I only have like one book left in the series. And I'm like, if I could squeeze that in, it would be nice to like wrap up the year by wrapping up some series, but we shall see. At least we'll get this one done. Next up is the book that my patrons have chosen for our buddy read. Yeah, I didn't flip those around, right? This is the buddy read and that's the... Yes. Yes. <laughs> this is the buddy read. Um, and we will be buddy reading The Silmarillion by J.R.R. Tolkien. Yeah. I mean, I don't think I need to explain to you what The Silmarillion is. I did start reading The Silmarillion back around right before when Rings of Power started airing and then quickly stopped reading The Silmarillion when I started watching Rings of Power and realized that reading The Silmarillion will only make me more upset about that show. And I'm upset enough. So uh, I tabled it and now it's won the poll. So we're going to read The Silmarillion. Next up is a book that a couple of my patrons want to buddy read and I was like, sure, which again, it's not coercion. They asked and I said, yes. <laughs> and that is It Girl by Ruth Ware. I expressed a great liking for Ruth Ware. Uh, it's not been always hits. I really, really liked Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware, which I read last year, I think for our Halloween time. And I also around Halloween time last year read One by One, which I didn't like as much as Turn of the Key, but it, it was good. And then this year I read The Death of Mrs. Westaway and it's my least favorite so far. <laughs> So like this year wasn't so good for Ruth Ware, but this is Ruth Ware's newest and a couple of my patients who also enjoy Turn of the Key, at least I think they both did, want to read the newest. And I was like, okay. So I'm reading it. Next up is The Spider by Leo Carew, which I've read before and loved it. It is better than The Wolf, even though I've read The Wolf more. Like no two ways about it, The Spider is better, um, but The Wolf is perfect. So that should tell you how good The Spider is according to me. No, but it really like, so the wolf is perfect for me, but the spider is like objectively a better book. So I feel like while still being everything that I love about the wolf, it, this would have more broad appeal because of interesting developments that I can't tell you because they're spoilers. Anyway, um, we're reading this for the read along with Alex and Alan in anticipation of the release of The Cuckoo, which I may be reading early for reasons. And then last and, and probably least <laughs> are my Book of the Month Club books from November. Therefore, I read them in December. And those are The Cloisters and The Wilder Women. Um, the Cloisters, this just cover, this intrigues me. And it's like thrills and chills and gothicness, which I mean, I'll always pick it up. And if it's from Book of the Month, I'll probably be disappointed. But the cover and premise and vibes, they sound appealing. Whether or not it delivers is another matter. I am more hopeful for The Wilder Women by um, Ruth Emmy Lang because... Quite, a, quite some time ago now, my friend gifted me, which I believe was Ruth Emmy Lang's uh, debut, um, Beasts of Extraordinary Circumstance. And I really did enjoy the Beasts of Ex Extraordinary Circumstance. And this, I think, is the first book that Ruth Emmy Lang has written since then. And having liked the first one, I have high hopes for the second one. So I saw it and I was like, well, I don't know anything really about this, but I liked the first one. And I don't believe, maybe it is, but I don't think it's a sequel. I don't think they would have picked, I don't think Book of the Month picks sequels as their books of the month. Plus, Beast of Extraordinary Circumstance was quite obviously a standalone. The Death Jacket says Ruth Emmy Lang returns with a new cast of ordinary characters with extraordinary abilities in The Wilder Women. I did read the blur before I picked it, but anyway, it's based on liking the first one that I'm like, yeah, well, let's do this one. Those are all the books that I promised to read in December. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts and feelings if you will be reading these books, if you never want to read these books, if you have already read them. Uh, whatever, let me know. I post videos on Saturdays, other random times well up on Saturdays, so like and subscribe. Join my Patreon if you feel so inclined, and I'll see you when I see you.